huge changes. I know the Six Nations, I mean, it only just got started before it got stopped in its tracks. Yeah. Uh, Warren Gatland and the void that he's left, uh, we all know what he did for Wales and we know that Pivac coming in, it's going to take a, a bit of time to adjust. You being a senior player, uh, one of the most experienced players in that team, um, how difficult is the transition going to be with them changes? Warren Gatlin at the helm, the situation around Rob Howley, which we now have a little bit more context to, we've seen in the media, which was a fantastic interview, to be fair. But a lot of changes in Wales. How do you see that kind of evolving? Yeah, I think, again, it's like, like you mentioned, it was always going to be, it's, it was always going to be a tough ask for, for somebody coming in after what sort of Gats achieved and, and the coaching staff achieved there. But, but I think what Wayne, uh, what Wayne has done is he's instilled a real confidence in the, in the lads to go out and play. Now, the way we probably play under Wayne is, is going to be different to the, to the, to the way we played under uh, with Gats. But I think what we've got at the minute is we've got a team which, you know, barring perhaps a couple of, a couple of elder players, are going to be together for the next, you know, certainly for the next four years until the next World Cup cycle. So is it important to win every test match you play? Yes, naturally. Is it, is it important to play well? Of, of course it is. But I think what Wayne will, and I think what the what what will be allowed is a little bit of time to just adjust to systems, adjust to the way Wayne likes to run sessions, the way that um, we're what we're asked to do as players, which which may be slightly different to what to what Gats has asked us to do. And um, I, th- I think it's it's exciting. It's really as exciting times in Wales with the talent we've got to choose from. But but like you said, I think. We, you know, we weren't a million miles away in, in, in the Six Nations. We were, we were a couple of games away from, you know, Ireland. We were, we were well and truly beat. France probably should have gone our way. We were a bit unlucky in that game. And, and England was, wasn't a huge amount in it, even though they probably took their foot off the gas in, in that last 15 minutes. But the, the, I think the, what's pleasing for us and the way we play um, is that it, it will create opportunities for us to score points. And I think... The more obviously, the more points we score, the, the better chance we're going to be in with winning games. And, and it was, it was. Now you mentioned that it was very similar to when I started the season with uh, with Northampton. In terms of, we, we didn't, you know, we, we I think we won two out of the first six or seven games uh, in our first uh, in our first uh, bit, opening bit of the, the Premiership season. And you know, what you could see was there were signs of us to play him well. Signs that the way we were playing was positive and, and everything, but we just needed a bit of time together. And what you saw by the end, you know, certainly after Christmas in um, with Northampton, is that the longer we had together, the longer that Chris and Sam got to implement their their, their philosophies, their sessions, and everything. By the time sort of you know the spring came and, and the good weather came, when we were absolutely flying by that stage and, and made the playoffs and um, and had a really good run. So I think that's what what will be the same with Wales in the way that Wayne and Steve, uh, Steve Jones in particular, will want to implement that. They'll want to win every game they play, naturally, as we all would, but they appreciate that probably it's going to take a little bit of time and, and who knows what's going to happen with the season. But if you, know, if you can get large periods of time together where you're playing lots of games on the bounce and having lots of weeks training and, and lots of meetings and things like that, then I think it's really exciting times for us in Wales. 